This video is part one in the series titled Human Beings and Energy. According to Happy Theory, human beings have energy. The term energy refers to an energy field that is centered on the human body and can interact with the outside environment. A common term for the energy field surrounding the human body is the word aura. The aura, or energy field of a human being, is frequently described as a spherical or elliptical shape that is large enough to completely enclose the human body as shown in this picture. The shape of the energy field surrounding the human body can also be treated as if it is an exact duplicate of the physical human body. The human body shaped energy field shares the same center as the physical body. Because the energy field is shaped like an exact duplicate of the physical human body, and the energy field shares the same center as the physical body, all that can be seen of the human body shaped energy field is a fringe outlining the shape of the physical body as shown in this picture. This picture provides an explanation for why the energy field of a human being is commonly called an aura. An aura is defined as something intangible that surrounds a human being or object. The fringe of light around the human body in this picture is something intangible that is surrounding the human body. The energy field surrounding a healthy human being is frequently described as being whitish in color. The energy field, or aura, can take on other colors due to health problems or other changes to the human body. The shape of the energy field surrounding the human body, be it a sphere, an ellipse, or a duplicate of the physical human body, can also change or erode away from its initial shape because of health problems or other reasons. The term energy can have other meanings when used in conjunction with the human body. The term energy does not only refer to an energy field that surrounds the human body. For the purposes of happy theory, the term energy, when used to discuss the human body, can also have the following meanings. The term energy can be used to refer to the mental focus of a human being. A human being who is mentally focused on reading a book could be described as putting their energy on the book. A common word that means the same thing as putting the mental focus on some object would be the word attention. Using the previous book reading example, a human being could be described as either putting their energy on the book or putting their attention on the book. Another word that means putting the mental focus on some object is the word intent. The human being reading the book in the previous example could be described as putting their intent on the book. The word intent is commonly used in the New Age spiritual communities and the martial arts or kung fu communities. To be completely clear, a human being putting their mental focus on something, a human being putting their energy on something, a human being putting their attention on something, and a human being putting their intent on something can all mean the same thing. The term energy can also be used to discuss the physical forces within the human body. The human body can be treated as a collection of objects that generate and react to physical forces. These physical forces within the human body are fully described by the theories and equations from the discipline of physics. The term energy, when used in this way, can be thought of as shorthand for all of the complex physics equations and theories that would be necessary to exactly describe the generation and interaction of physical forces in a particular area of the human body. The physical forces generated by the human body can act on some external object or on the human body itself. An example of using the term energy to discuss the physical forces generated by the human body acting on an external object would be a human being who is pressing on something with their hand as shown in this picture. The human being can be described as putting their energy on whatever object their hand is pressing on. A human being who is standing up could be described as putting their energy on the ground because their feet are pressing on the ground. An example of using the term energy to discuss the physical forces generated by the human body acting on itself 
would be a human being whose body is twisted to the right. That human body is twisted to the right because the physical forces generated within the body have pushed the body to the right. Instead of using physics equations and theories to exactly describe the physical forces causing that human body to twist to the right, it could be said that that human being's energy is going to the right. The word energy in this situation refers to all of the physical forces within the body that force the body to twist to the right. Examples of the usage of the word energy as it applies to the human body. The word energy used to describe an energy field surrounding the human body. The word energy used to describe the mental focus, attention, or intent of a human being. Or the word energy used to describe the physical forces within the human body will be presented in later videos of this series.